Page 32, Bright Eyes. We're again got one flat key of F major. So all the B's in the piece are going to be B flat automatically unless they have a natural sign. Common time is 4 4 time, right? So we're going to count to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to point out a few little things that I'd like to bring to your attention. Starting with the right hand. Now, notice at the beginning of the piece, there what, the second finger on the A? Okay, but the last measure of that line, you're coming down. So, use third finger on the A. Okay, second line, last measure, they have a two on all those G's. Yeah, I recommend a two on two on two on. A pattern two one two. alternate them when you have in piano as on a fast piece especially it, repeated notes use different fingers because it's much safer and it's quicker to use different fingers in this case a two one is fine right. third line down last measure Look at those two eighth notes. Notice the fingering. The first one is an F. It is the uh, second finger. And then cross the thumb under and get the G. And you're ready to repeat because you need the second finger on the A at the top because you're going to repeat. On page 33, second line, first measure, you're playing the G with the third finger. Then for the two quarter notes, the A, they want you to use third finger again. It's a different phrase, so you can. You can go. Don't have to. You can use fourth finger on that A. You go here for the G. You can use fourth. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Third line down. Second measure. Fourth finger on the A's. Thumb on the F. Don't have to. You could use second finger on the F because it's there. You can still get the C with the little finger. That's not hard. And that's about it for the right hand. Let's talk left hand. At the top of page 32, third measure. Look at those quarter notes. The fingering, that's a good fingering, so follow that. One, two, three, four, one. that that's really nice second line the first measure you're here second measure they want a uh, fifth finger on the F that's okay too because you can go from here to here you may have to practice that move but you can do it with some practice you need to learn to do it third line down uh, they're showing you a second finger on the A that's good. Then a second finger on the B flat for the next measure. I like that. I would put a fourth finger on the G. And then you're back up. Top of page 33. Second measure on the quarter notes. They're showing a 5-3. And you'd use two for the B flat on the half note. That's fine. That happens again in the next line, same thing. Third line down, first measure, it's a 3-1, 4-1, and then a 1 on the A, and then a, a 5 on the D. They don't tell you that, but it, use a 5. As far as the other little things go, the only thing I see uh, other than the rhythm, you got to watch the rhythm carefully. Hold each note down its correct amount of time because the hands are doing different things again. But at the end of page 33, at the very bottom, last measure, there is a line above the right hand notes and below the left hand notes. It's called a tenuto line. Different people will interpret this differently. To me, I was taught a tenuto line means hold it out as long as possible, maybe just a hair longer. So four beats, two. We might give it four and a half beats. One, two.
two, three, and four, and one, and you know, load it up just a little bit later. Just hang on to it as long as you possibly can. Now, when two minutos happen in the middle of a piece, you can't do that very well. But you, you make sure you hold them as long as you possibly can. They're introducing section lines, sections. See, music can be split up into sections. A lot of times it is. And what it is, they will divide the section up with a double bar line. Sometimes it could be a repeat sign if it happens to be at the end of a section. Instead of a double bar, it would be a repeat sign. <clears throat> it could be the thin and thick bar line indicating the end of the piece if you happen to have a fine and it happens to be there. But if you look at the top of page 33, between the first and second measure, there is a double bar line. That means the second measure starts a new section. As far as musical form goes, we haven't talked at all about musical form, just know that a double bar line is section. That has nothing to do with how you play the piece. Okay? It doesn't affect it at all. It has nothing to do with counting. It has nothing to do with how you're interpreting anything. It's simply a, a music theory thing, so they divide things up into sections. One of the most common sections you'll find in music would be an introduction. A lot of pieces have an introduction. And you'll find at the, inter at the end of the introduction, there'll be a double bar line. Let's try this out. Common timer four, four times. We'll count to four. Give us four counts and we'll start. So the right hand is here. Left hand. Okay. One, two, ready, go. Sort of. 